Hey everybody! Happy Tuesday! We are making pigs in blankets. I hope you're all feeling extremely festive. I thought I would borrow James's glasses today, give you a little bit of wow factor. So if you're tuning in, come and say hey Don, let me know what you're having for dinner, where you're tuning in from. If you hit the share button, don't forget to comment shared so that I can find you for the prize draw. If you're watching for the very first time, um, just comment newbie so we can all make friends. And the stars are all being donated to charity. I think we've got it all covered. So the stars go to um, the Unique Foundation for Survivors of Childhood Sexual Abuse. When I have a total, I will let you know. Hey Sarah, how are you? Hi Penny, hi Sarah. How are you doing? Hi Sarah, hi Sarah. We got Sarah's on here. <laughs> hi Chantel, thank you for the share. You're in the prize draw, ladies. Right, prize draw, so. Our last winner was, I need to hold that up because these don't like, these, these aren't level with my glasses. <laughs> so, our last winner was Kim McDonald. Your prize will be in the post tomorrow. On Saturday night, we did beef stir fry with pak choy and mushrooms. It was so delicious. It was really good. Um, and we had 168 shares. Thanks for the hearts, guys. <gasps> Katie's already sent some stars. Thank you very much. They're all going to charity. So we have, well, we have one prize in the pot, but Christmas is coming, so we're going to put two, and you're going to smash it today. We're going to go over 200 shares, aren't we, everybody? So keep hitting that button so we can get some more prizes in the pot. So here we go. I'm going to do two anyway. So the first one, can you see, is 42. Oh, God, hang on. All my specs are going to fall off. Hang on. <laughs> Let me write that down. <laughs> I might have to take them off to go up. I'm going to lose them. <laughs> Oh, I've got itchy nose. It's giving me an itchy nose. Right, next one. Come on, let's go. 79. Who's feeling Christmassy? Hang on. Yeah, these are going to fall off my nose. We might have to take them off when we get cooking. <laughs> this isn't going to work. These are James's glasses. Oh, she can have the iPad back, babe. Sorry, she wanted the iPad. Um, yeah, I'm not sure this is going to work because as soon as I look down and start chopping, they're going to fall off my face. These are James's glasses. I think a headband is better. Why are you yeah. putting them on? Because they look cool now. <laughs> right, go on, trouble. Right, I'm going to have to take them off. Right, you've had your giggle now, guys. Make sure we get to 200 shares so we get more prizes in the pot. Right, first up, I'm going to do my veggies. I've got my um, spuds already part boiling because we're having roast potatoes tonight. I've done SP for two weeks, but like, we're going to be good. Um, I'm having spuds. So I'm doing my roast veggies, then we're going to do the pigs in blankets because the veggies are going to take a bit longer. And um, this is for my tea, guys. <laughs> so we're going to get a wriggle on. So you need a... Um, Big dish, oh gosh, don't smash it. Baking tray, anything like that, um, yeah, tin. Just fry light it. Then we are just gonna do some onion, no, onions, carrots. You can't see, can you? Let's tip this down, that would be helpful, Donna. Thank you for the shares, Linda, the uh, stars even, they are going to charity. Da -da -da. So I'm just gonna peel these quickly. We're having roast carrots, Roast parsnips and onions with roast potatoes, because I have not had spuds in ages. And um, what else? Pigs in blankets. So my kids absolutely love these pigs in blankets. Thank you, Louise. So we're keeping the veg chunky and we're just going to roast it in a tin. Um, but my kids love these pigs in blankets. We have these all the time, not just at Christmas. Thank you, Val. Oh my God, we're already at 6.50 stars. Um, yeah, they absolutely love these. They are sin free. So I, I can't be doing with any of that streaky bacon nonsense. Like it makes me want to vomit. Wow, all that fat. Um, <laughs> that's not just because I do Slimming World. That's just because I'm like, oh, streaky bacon. Um, so my kids love these. They're a proper like, ball of protein so on christmas day andrew can't eat turkey anyway so i usually just do a turkey just for me i'll just get a crown um but my kids will literally have a plate full of these because they love them so let's get the carrots on you know how to do roast veggies i'm sure but um i need to do them because it's my tea guys oh my god we got more stars thank you denise oh wow we're gonna raise loads of money today 
I can't wait to tell you the grand total when we find it out. So who's ready for Christmas? Are you ready, guys? James, James just shouted, me, 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 we're ready. We're done and we're ready. So we will have turkey. Andrew usually has like a lamb, like a lamb shank or something like that. And then I do the pigs in blankets and the kids will just eat the pigs in blankets. But last year, Andrew was like, I'll just have pigs in blankets. Forget the lamb, we'll just have loads of pigs in blankets. So that's what we're doing. Right, another carrot. I'll do my parsnips and my onions. Are you all sharing? We need to meet, reach as many people as possible. Please, please, please keep hitting that button. Sharing is caring. Oops. Um, if you're new to following, just say newbie. Um, if you're watching for the first time, you can go to the top of my page, theoriginaldiva.com, and hit follow and see first. You're not going to miss anything. I um, post the recipes and the pictures of the food as soon as it is cooked. But I eat it first. So I take a picture of it, then I eat it. And then I post it on here for you guys. Because <laughs> as much as I love you, I don't want my dinner to get cold. There we go. Right, now we're on to parsnips. Oh, I love parsnips, me. And then I'm going to whack some onions in. Oh, because I love them too. I pretty much love all food. Can't stand peas. Anybody else with me on that? Ugh. Right. Chunky parsnips too. Keep your veg big, guys. Keep it big. Thanks for the shares, guys. Thank you, Christine. Thank you, Amanda. Don't forget to comment if you have. Otherwise, I can't always find you. Like, it might say 250 people have shared it, but, like, sometimes it doesn't show me who all those, all those people are. But if you comment shared, then I can find you. That's why we've got to do it that way. I'm not quite sure why that is. <laughs> Same with, if you need any, like, help or anything, just message me. It's the quickest way to get hold of me. Um... And sometimes not all my messages come through either. Facebook needs to sort it out, don't they? You love peas. I li Honestly, I can't. I can't even eat. If, if they are on my plate, I can't eat my dinner. Thank you for the stars, Debbie. <laughs> I, I just can't. I've never been able to eat a pea. I try. Like, I do cook them because Andrew and Holly absolutely love them. James, though, he's just like me. I gave him, I gave him some peas and I asked him to try it and he was sick. <laughs> He just ganged. There we go. Can't do peas. I'm sorry. Does anybody cook Brussels for Christmas? I don't do Brussels either. Uh, ugh, grim. No. Is it? Andrew will eat a Brussels. I don't think he likes it. I think he just eats it just because you're meant to eat Brussels at Christmas. Maybe we should do a thing. Has anybody got a good Brussels recipe? <laughs> Louise is doing a rank face. <laughs> She's gonna be sick, but. <laughs> right, I'm gonna do, I think that's probably enough. Right, now I've just got red onions, so we're just gonna chuck those in. Oh my God, my um, spuds are gonna be well over parboiled in a minute, let me check. Let me give them a stab. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I think we're gonna do it, hang on. I'm just gonna drain them. So these are gonna be for my roast potatoes. I'm gonna enjoy these tonight. Because it's been super good. Can you believe it? I've got one pound to go. I lost one pound this week and I was like, come on! One pound to target. Nobody likes Brussels. Somebody must have a recipe of how to make Brussels taste a little bit better. Oh my god, we're at 1300 stars. Thank you guys. So I've just drained them, right? And then. I've got my little dish ready. I always put some grease proof paper in the bottom because otherwise like they just stick and that really annoys me if I lose half my potato on the tray. So I'm just gonna stick them in there and then I'm just gonna fry light them. Boom, where is my fry light? Just there, so I can get those in the oven. Then we're just gonna roast them. Fry light them. Give them a little toss and then we're gonna chuck them in the oven, okay? Right, we need to crack on with this veg because the veg is not gonna be cooked. Right, I'm putting one onion in there. Let me move that out of the way. I'll have that as my bin, my bin box today because I forgot to get my bin bowl out. 
I'm not looking so tidy today. Might get a C today for cleanliness. Put them in the active fryer and roast them. Oh, is, are we on about spuds now or are we on about Brussels? I've got an active fry, you know, and I just like, it's a pain in the butt getting it out and cleaning it. Like the oven, I don't need to clean really. <laughs> it's got all those liners and stuff and it's all good. Half Brussels, roast with garlic, fry like. Parmesan. Ah, see, Parmesan. But I'm not. I'm not a very cheesy person either. Right. I'm gonna keep this um, onion really chunky as well. Drop that in there. Love onions, me. There we go. That's gonna be my roasty veg. Can you see? It's all in the dish. We've got some more stars. Thank you, Annette. We're at thirteen hundred fifty. Right. Next. I am going to chuck a bay leaf in here. I'm going to open them. Hang on. We're going to chuck a bay leaf in. I'm going to whack some garlic in. Hang on. I'm going to go with my frozen garlic. Oh, man. No, I'm not. Okay, we'll move and pivot. We've got no frozen garlic, so we'll go with frozen granules. 1,550 stars. Let me get a teaspoon, otherwise I'm going to chuck loads in. Do. I was gonna put some frozen garlic on. You can put fresh in if you want, but I'm got any fresh, so we'll just we'll mackle it up. Then we're gonna add some rosemary. Whack it in there, a bit of rosemary. You can put fresh in again if you're doing this like at Christmas, put fresh in. It's gonna look better. But you know, we'll make them do. Give it another toss. Balsamic vinegar. Oh, God, I love that. Like I could literally drink this out of the bottle. <laughs> And she's like, I've never seen anybody have balsamic vinegar like you do. God, I love it. Right, drizzle it all over. We're going to cover with tin foil. Oh my God, have we got enough? Jodie takes all my tin foil and covers sticks with it and makes spats out of it and sticks and things. Right, that's going in the oven for like 30 minutes and then you can take the top off and then crisp them up for 20 minutes. Oh, cold that in right that's the veggies done now we're on to pigs in blankets guys look at the mess i have made this is the bit you are all tuning in for <laughs> so i've got my tray here you can put them in a dish if you want but i tend to sit them on here and then any fat like drains through rather than it sitting in them right do you want me to get a plate I need to take my rings off because it's going to get messy. Bowl. I'm still cleaning up. There's the towel to dry my hands. How's everybody doing? Are you still hitting that share button because we want to get up to 200 today? Come on, guys. Right. 5% pork mince from... This is from Aldi. This is going to be the inside of your pigs. So this is the pigs and then we've got the bacon for the blankets. Right, we're just gonna squash it up with your hand and then we're gonna add some garlic and some onions and then we're gonna get our bacon out. Thanks, Yvonne. Thanks, Louise, for the shares. Hi, Sam. How are you doing? So we're just mushing it all up with our hands. Then we are going to add some onion granules for a little bit of flavour. Get them in there. Ooh. Garlic, that's what I'm looking for. That's a big tub of garlic. Let me get my teaspoon out again. Then some garlic granules as well. Then we're just going to mush it in a bit more. So this is instead of sausage meat and it's going to be completely free. Just make sure you've got the 5% mince. Happy days. These are so good. You can make them huge as well. <laughs> You'll see why my kids just want these for dinner. Give it a good mush in. You don't want a big clump of garlic anywhere. Sasha, how are you? Hi, Joe. We are making pigs in blankets. We've done the roast vegetables and the roast spuds are in. So I thought I would just do pigs in blankets today because we're going to have them for tea and 
like you can make them for your Christmas dinner. Boom. Right, done. I need a plate. to make oh my god we've got more stars 1700 stars so i thought the bacon medal i've never checked bacon medallions because i just assumed bacon medallions are bacon medallions bacon is free the bacon medallions from aldi have brown sugar in them which makes them sins i didn't know this so i will not be buying them anymore so I popped to the butchers today. They don't do bacon medallions. Um, but I got some bacon. And it's gorgeous. And it's thick because it's from butchers. So all we're gonna do, look how good it is from a butcher's, you get good thick bacon. So all we're gonna do is take off the fat around the outside so we're left that is free now, completely free. Don't buy the Aldi medallions, they're not. Oh my God, we're at 2,300, right. Get your mints, roll it into a ball, and you are gonna pop that in your bacon. Can you see? I think you can see, and you're just gonna roll it. Look at the size of that bad boy bit of fat on the end there hang on somebody will pull me up look and say donna you missed the fat boom one pig in blanket sin free everybody loves these everybody loves them and that's all you gotta do for each one then you're gonna whack them in the oven and roast them until they are cooked i think like 30 40 minutes we'll do it boom the bacon medallions from Iceland. See, our Iceland is in town. I'm not going into town to get them. Somebody told me Sainsbury's are, but I will now be checking because honestly, I just thought bacon was bacon. I've been eating those sins and didn't even realise it. That's what they call hidden sins, peeps. <laughs> Have we got any newbies on here? There we go. Look at pig in blanket. Delicious. And just keep going until you have used all of your sausage meat well it's not sausage meat all of your mints boom oh there's two slices there so you can make these huge they're just a proper massive ball of protein hey victoria how are you it's not sausage jackie it is five percent mints because that's free and all we've done is add a bit of onion powder and a bit of garlic granules. I got this off my mum. So my mum has always made these because she's like, this must be where the whole fat thing, like fat phobia comes from. Um, she's always done them this way. We've never done like streaky bacon. So I don't like streaky bacon. Like, I'm one of those that picks the fat off of everything. Um, but she uses sausage meat. But I can't even tell you how many sins in sausage meat. It's horrific people. <laughs> so we've used 5% mints. We've mushed it up with our hands. And then we've added some onion granules and garlic granules. Job done. What do you think? Yes, pork mints, Anne. 5% pork mints. Make sure it's 5%, otherwise you're gonna have to sin it and there's no point in sinning it when you can buy 5%, is there? No, 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 no. Okay. Who's gonna give these a whirl? Let me know. Emma's a newbie. Hi, Emma. We're at 2,000. 450 stars and all the money is going to charity boom fantastic i hope facebook tell me how much we've raised before um before christmas would be fabulous but you know we'll, we'll just roll with it and just keep rolling them up until you've gone they're so good so good wait till you see them cooked delicious delicious you're going to try try them before Christmas, Chantel. Make sure you have them. In fact, my kids just like the sausage bit on the right. Well, it's not sausage. The 5% mint. It tastes like sausage. They don't know. Genius. It's perfect. Yes, pork mints all the way. Don't get sausage meat, guys. Don't do it. Roll them up. They look fabulous. Look, we've got a whole tray full. We're making loads. So 
this is similar, exactly the same with your um, mints. If you're making scotch eggs, I was going to do them as well, but I forgot to boil my um, boil my eggs, so I can't. Um, so basically, you just do the same with your um, mints, except you just squash it around a boiled egg instead of wrapping it in bacon. And you can do this with your stuffing as well. So you can make sausage meat, like 5% mince stuffing, but you could wrap your stuffing in the bacon medallion a bit. So does everybody know now not to buy the bacon medallions from Aldi because they're not free? I'm sorry, I love Aldi. <laughs> you guys will know how much I love Aldi, but their bacon medallions are not free, okay? So don't eat them. <laughs> Oh, what did I, oh, that's what I've just said, Sasha. Don't get the bacon, the Aldi bacon medallions. They are not free. I don't know about the rest of the bacon. I did pick a pack. I did pick, 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 I did pick a pack of bacon up, but it was so thin. I was like, nah, I'll just go butchers. Let's do it proper. Let's do it in style. Thick bacon from your butchers. Come on, let me know who's going to make them. I want to see your pictures when you do. Do you know what? More importantly, if you've got kids, I want to see your kids' faces when they eat them. <laughs> Why are the Aldi ones not free? Because they've got brown sugar. I think it might say, when I read the pack, I can't remember exactly, brown sugar preserve in them. Preserve, however you say that. And they're not free. And I honestly thought they did. I, do you know how I found this out? I did SP and I posted the picture of the medallions and then somebody said, oh, I checked that on the app, they're sinned. And I was like, oh, mortified, mortified. I, I don't know exactly how many sins, but it's not worth it when you can get them for free. Just go and get your bacon. So you just cut all the fat off your bacon, roll it in your pork mince, and there you have your pig in blankets. Get them, do them, make them, eat them. Message me with your pictures and tell me how much you love them. <sighs> Margaret's going to be making them. Dried sage, you can add sage as well. I was going to do sage. That's what I was going to do. Never mind, I've not done it. I've got rosemary out for my vegetables. But yes, add sage as well. Boom, job done. Flavour them with whatever you want. Look at that. See, you guys remind me of everything. You wait till I show you how many of these I've made. Has anybody been counting as I've gone along? Which have I got loads of bacon, wasn't it? <laughs> I said to the butcher, I want the lean stuff, no fat. It's fine. Look, do you know when I was in there, they got loads, like stacks and stacks and stacks of streaky bacon. And people were buying it and I was like... <laughs> No, 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 Linda, oh, oh, see, this hidden sins, Linda always has the Aldi medallions, uh, 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 don't do it, I, I could, honestly, I was gobsmacked, absolutely gutted, because I was like, I thought I'd had, I think I'd had a sin-free day, I thought, <laughs> and I hadn't, pants, there we go, I'm going to use that one's a bit small, so I'm just going to roll it up like that. Oh, hang on, I've not chopped all the fat off. Make sure you're getting all your fat off, peeps. Too busy gabbing to you lot. Oh, look at it, look at it. Boom, right, I've got enough for one more. So that was just one, how big was that pack? Let me see, one 500 gram pack of 5% um, mints has made. Let me have a look in a sec, I'll count them. Chop off your fat. This is my last one. Has made 12 pigs in blankets. Ugh. See, everybody's saying that they're eating the Aldi medallions. You'll not be eating them anymore, will you? Aldi's profits are about to soar. Like, they're about to plummet, sorry, not soar. Here we go, look. How good are they? That is way better than streaky bacon. They're gonna taste amazing and they're free, they're free. 
So your turkey's gonna be free, your pigs in blankets are gonna be free, you're gonna do Slimming World roast potatoes, you're gonna have your roast veggies which are free, you can do your Brussels if there's anybody on here that actually eats Brussels. Boom, sin free dinner, then you can have what you want for pudding peeps. What's wrong with the medallions? Bacon medallions from Aldi are not free. We have just discovered this and we're all mortified. <laughs> Right, there we go. Let me wash my hands quickly. I'm going to whack them in the oven. Hang on. I just need to wash. So there we go. Who is going to be making them? Linda loves Brussels. <laughs> oh, streaky bacon's rank. Who eats that? No, no, no. Annette doesn't mind Brussels. Oh, I just can't. Can you? Vroom, 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 vroom. It's like a bush took a dry in Brussel. So there we go. There's your pigs in blankets with your roast veggies. I will, um, roast potatoes. I will um, post the recipe tonight after I've had my dinner with the pictures of the food. Thank you for the stars, Jane. We're at 2,600. Can we get to 3,000 before I click off it? Come on, peeps. Come on. Hey, Joe. Looks good. Are you going to make them? Sharon loves Brussels too. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Dorothy's just sent some. Come on, we can get to 3,000 before I click off. Come on, peeps. There we go. Come on, do you need me to flash my um, pigs in blankets again? Is that going to get us to 3,000 stars? Cheryl's a newbie. Thank you for tuning in, Cheryl. If you go to the page, the original diva, click follow, see first. You're not going to miss anything. What, I do the live, the cooking lives, Tuesday and Saturday, and then once it's cooked, I post the pictures and the recipe. So that's how you're gonna find the recipe. Don't rely on Facebook to give you a notification because it just won't happen. You need to um, make sure you follow it. And we've done it! 3,000 stars. There you go, guys. Pigs in blankets, done. I'm gonna get them in the oven. So we are ready for dinner. Thank you for tuning in. If you have hit the share button, please comment shared and then I'll be able to find you for the next prize draw because you could be a lucky winner, peeps. All just for hitting that share button. Boom. Tell us what's in the mince. The mince is literally 5% lean pork mince and I added garlic and onion granules. You could add sage, anything you want. It's going to be amazing. Squish it all up, mix it all up, roll it into balls cut the fat off your bacon and roll them so it's like the bacon medallion, but not Aldi ones because they are not free. Um, I've heard Sainsbury's are free and somebody said Iceland is free, but just make sure you're checking your packs because honestly, I didn't, I didn't realise. I didn't realise. Right, love you. What time on Saturdays? We're usually 5pm on Saturday for Saturday night chick away. Don't ask me what I'm cooking because well, I just fly by the seat of my pants doing this and it's whatever we've got in the cupboard and whatever we fancy for tea. Right, thank you, Gail. Right, I'm going to love you and leave you. Have a fabulous evening. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see your pigs and blankets very soon, peeps. See you soon. Love you. Bye. Mwah!